Greetings, fellow travelers. Welcome to SubCypher Gaming. This is SubCypher, and today we're going derelict freighter hunting. So let's get started. First, we open our inventory, locate our emergency broadcast receiver, and activate it. And then go into Pulse Drive. You can pick these EBRs up from scrap dealers in space stations or from Iteration Helios on the Space Anomaly. The former sells them for 5 million units, but the latter will give you a free one once per week. Once you see the notice that the EBR has detected something, drop out a pulse drive and the derelict freighter will appear. Just fly towards it and land on one of the four landing pads. There are four because you can do these as a group, so bring friends if you can. You will all be able to loot everything on the ship, including all the special goodies. Now that we're on board, we'll hop out and head into the derelict freighter. I love kicking this helmet around. It's like soccer. Come on, try and score a goal. Wait, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, now you're just target practice. Rawr! Okay, let's move on. First, we open the hatch. Now we'll turn on the heater. It's cold in here. Then we'll collect the emergency supplies. After that, we tell the ship to open the airlock. Be sure to loot this crate while you wait for the door to open. Pro tip, loot everything. It will give you some ferrite dust. I don't need it, so I'm going to delete it. But it also gives you repair kits, and these come in handy to repair broken upgrades on your exosuit, starship, or multi-tool. And they're free! I'll just put them in my freighter for now. Oh yeah, make sure you have lots of inventory space. There's a lot to loot in here. Okay, in we go! What you're looking for in here is anything blue. Like this case. And turn on any heaters you see to stay warm. But run around looking for anything blue to loot. You'll get nanites, units, tainted metal, ammunition, other goodies to craft with, and lots of things to sell. It can get a bit confusing in here. There are different levels. So you may have to climb ladders or drop down ladders. There's no fall damage in here, so don't worry about that. Loot that. Turn on the heater. Loot these back here. Okay, looks like we got it all. Let's head back this way, and... Where are we going? Oh yeah, drop down this ladder. Now you could climb down it, but I just drop. Sometimes these derelict freighters are haunted. Oh wait, one more ladder. And there we go. Alright, you'll see these green floaty guys over here. You just pop them with your weapon, and they go away. Then go about your business of looting and staying warm. Now notice that door with the zero above it? These are either cargo storage or crew quarters. They're dead ends, but they contain loot. So don't skip them. You'll know you're going the right way if you go to the doors with the numbers. This is door number one, and there's door number two. Just remember which number you're on and find the next one. And then just keep looting and shooting. There are specific things we are looking for in here. 
So I want you to keep your eyes open for those. Let's loot this. Loot this. Shoot that. Loot that. Shoot that. Loot that. Loot this. Okay. Let's move on. Now one of the things that we are especially looking for is behind this door. It's these data pads. You only really need to find one. I didn't get a good shot here, but it will drop a security ID. Right there. Now you only need to find one of these, so once you find a data pad that drops that, you can skip the rest. They have a story in them, so read them if you're interested, but you don't have to. The other things we're looking for are these terminals, like the one we saw at the start. This one is the records terminal. Going through all this dialogue will give you the crew manifest. And I'll show you what to do with these later. There it is. They also have a short range teleporter next to them. Again, like the one at the start. They will take you back to the start so you can go outside and drop things off at your ship if your inventory gets full. You can then use the one at the start to come right back here. This is handy if you don't have a lot of inventory space because they don't allow you to teleport things to your ship even though it's docked right outside. Back to looting and shooting. Don't forget to stay warm. Larval cores, those also refine into nanites. Turn on the heat, loot that. More nanites, more units. Hadal cores. Oh, there's an upgrade. Not a very good one, but it'll sell for nanites. More tainted metal, neural duct, more neural ducts, an eyeball. There's a lot to loot in here, folks. Now, where are we? Let's double check our numbers. Number four, still going in the right direction. Down this hole. Shoot those. Now we got, we're going to loot some stuff here real quick. Turn on the heat. Now right back there is the next terminal we need. But I typically like to finish looting the whole area before I access the nearest terminal. That way I don't forget to grab anything that's bolted down. Look at all this stuff. Couple more things here. Now, I will say that I don't usually make my money back on these ventures, but the other stuff you get makes up for that. I'll explain when we get to the last terminal. The next terminal is the secure mainframe. This is the one you can't do unless you found these security credentials. So if you get to this point and you haven't found it yet, you may have to keep going and come back. Once you go through this terminal, You can read the captain's log, and then the computer will give you the copy of the captain's log. Again, I'll tell you what to do with these later. You could also take a break and drop things off at your ship using the teleporter here. Just come back when you're done, there's more stuff ahead. And since I mentioned that you can't put stuff in your ship from here, I should point out this apparent bug. 
You may not be able to send stuff to your starship parked right outside, but you can send stuff to your freighter's general inventory. That's what I do. Especially with the stuff I know I'm going to keep. Like that. And these here. Remember to keep your inventory organized. Put these down here. These are what we're what uh, the main things we came for. Well, two of them anyway. Still got one thing left. Let's go up this ladder. Ooh. This looks like a room with a lot to loot. Yeah, and to shoot. Well, get rid of those guys. And that one there. What's wrong with this one? I can't loot it. Hmm. Wrong angle? No. Should we go away? Go away. Okay. Let's keep looting. Stay warm. All right. Keep going. Yeah, that one must be broken. Whatever. There's plenty of loot here. Wait, is this where we came in? What? No. We came in over there. Okay. That must be where we leave. So we'll grab this case. And then we'll clear out this cargo area. And then, oh, get that locker. Okay, let's go. Okay, now this is the final area. Again, there's the terminal. But I go around and loot everything before I hit that terminal. So we'll go over to the this terminal. It is the engineering control. There are a few options here, but I came for the cargo bulkhead. I'll explain the other options at the end of the video. For now, let's use the teleporter and head back to the start. At this point, you could go back in and look for anything you missed. The sharp-eyed viewer will notice I missed an entire rack of cargo in the room with the engineering control. You could do this if you forgot the security credentials or never found them, if you wanted to make sure you got all the loot, whatever, the option's there. But let's get out of here. Back to the ship. Normally, once you got in your ship, you would take off and look for a space station. But a quick scan of the area will show you that there's not a space station in this system. So, we'll have to warp to one that does. While we're doing that, I want to give you some tips.
Pachoom! Emergency broadcast receivers can get expensive. Right now, there's another bug you can exploit if you like. Once you go into your inventory and activate the receiver, you go back into your inventory and drop it in your personal refiner. This will keep it from disappearing once you get to the derelict freighter. I don't know. Maybe your exosuit backpack is shielded or something. I'm guessing it's just a bug and it'll get patched out. Anyway, once you loot the place and you leave, you hop in your ship, take off, Then you go into Pulse Drive, you can open up your inventory, go to your personal refiner, and drop the EBR back into your inventory. It still says it's active, but once you pulse one more time, it'll switch back into a regular EBR and be ready to use again and again. Now this next tip is how to better spot loot. If you can't see blue in the dark or forgot what you've already looted, you just click on your scanner. Everything lootable will turn purple. They will all show this little cargo icon in the middle, except for the ones that you've already looted. Those will disappear. This makes them easy to spot. So once you think you got them all, Take a step back and hit the scanner again. See? Purple. Everything with icons. And then they disappear. Okay, where were we? Ah, yes. Heading to a system with a space station. There's one. Just flying real quick. Ooh, drift landing. All right, you see those two icons? You have a choice to make. Now, I typically go up to this side to the scrap dealer. He will pay us in tainted metal for the crew manifest and the captain's log. You can also buy a new emergency broadcast receiver for units by clicking acquire coordinates or you can purchase old scrap. These are upgrades, base decorations, some other things. But you also have another option. Again, notice that there's an icon on the right. Well, maybe not in that shot. But I know it works. I do have a uh, crew manifest still in my pockets. So we could go up here again and talk to the scrap dealer. Then he would buy it from us. But if you're trying to up your status, your standing, with one of the races, you can go over to the other side. See that icon there? You bring them over here, and you can donate the crew manifest or the captain's log. This will up your standing with every race you turn it into. Now just take a second here to say that the other options at the engineering control were Fabricate Technology Upgrade, which will give you a random class of a random upgrade you can use on your freighter, or 
you can extract nanites. If you don't need either of the other two and just came for the loot, that might be your best option. I would like to thank you all for watching. If you like my video, be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and hit the bell if you want to be notified whenever I'm streaming live or upload a new video. Stay safe out there, fellow travelers. Peking duck go pachoom!